I'm gonna show you guys how to center. Centering is the hardest part, and I will help you if you can't get it, but I'd like for you to go ahead and try it. Okay, so find to the middle and just kind of bang it down there. You still have dry hands right now. I'm turning it on real slow, and I'm just, I kind of have my hands at an angle and banging down. I'm trying to attach it, but I don't want to like totally flatten it out. Now that it's kind of attached toward the middle, I'm going to take my finger and give it a nice little skirt so it's really attached on there really well. And now hopefully it won't slide off. So I'm going to get my hands wet. And um, anytime you touch the clay on the wheel, it should be moving. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit and bring my hands from outside to in. But notice that my legs are anchored on the splash pan. My arms are going to be anchored on my legs. and um, so I have them, you'd be surprised at how strong one pound can be. And I'm going to make it look easy because I've practiced a lot. But it, you can really struggle getting this one little pound in. So your main thing, like your arms might be shaking depending on how well you got it in the center. You want to stop your arms from moving. Like that's your goal. And it's partially strength, but it's partially just holding steady and anchoring everything together. So you're going to cone up, which is just slowly bringing your hands up and then slowly moving them away. If you move away too quickly, it'll knock it off center. So you're gonna do that a couple times. I like to cone up twice in the beginning. I don't know, it's just my habit, but um, a lot, if you guys can watch pottery videos online, everybody does it a little bit differently. And now I'm gonna cone down. So I'm gonna, t I'm gonna be pushing with my top hand, but I need this hand to make sure that the clay doesn't go everywhere. So I'm gonna keep this hand, my, um, right hand steady but my left hand is mainly doing the work and pushing it down and I'm trying to I'm touching my hands to each other and I'm trying to keep my wrists from moving even though the clay is kind of wanting to move and I'm still keeping my elbows attached to my legs if your if your legs aren't as tall as mine you can always attach to the splash pan too Okay, so once you have it centered, and if you guys like fight with it for a while and you are ready for me to center it for you, that's fine. And I could always, I could always center your first one and then you could center your second one or something like that. So once you have it centered, which will sometimes take quite a while, so I know I made that look easy, but just know that it's gonna be hard. Um, you're gonna find the center of your clay and you're gonna start pushing down. And there's a couple different ways you can do it depending on what feels comfortable to you. So one way is to put your two thumbs in the middle and press down that way. Another way is to put your two hands and just center the middle finger. Just make sure you find the middle before you're, you start pressing down. And you're gonna press down. Since I'm doing a cylinder, um, I kinda want just a deep hole and not a wide opening like you would for a bowl. So you're pressing down, but you don't want to go all the way, all the way down. These are our needle tools up here. And you can grab a needle tool if you want to turn off your wheel, poke it, and just see how far down. I may have gone a little too far down, but it'll be okay. If you go too far down, then you might end up with a flower pot because it <laughs> might have a hole in the bottom. Now I'm going to open the floor. So you're, I'm going to take my, on my left hand, notice everything is still anchored to the splash pan. My left hand is going to go in there with two fingers, one or two. My right hand is going to be touching the side of this, and my left hand is going to connect over. So anytime you can make connections, it's going to make it stronger. So I'm going to put these two hands in here, connecting everything. Now I've got a hole big enough for my two fingers to fit in, so I'm going to be pulling these two fingers toward my palm like this. And it's starting to feel sticky, so I know I need a little more water. So I'm opening the floor by just pressing toward my palm. And now I'm going to compress the bottom. So first step is making the hole. Second step is what? Everybody say it. Good, opening the floor, and then the third step is going to be compress the bottom. And that just means using a dry sponge or your thumb, and you're going to just press down on the bottom. You're trying to, to tell the clay to stay down there. It has a memory, and it's going to want to go, you know, back into its blob. If you get an S-crack curve on the bottom, that means you probably forgot to 
compress the bottom. So this part is an important part of getting a, a bowl out that doesn't have a crack in the bottom. It's compressing. You can run your thumb back and forth halfway. So after I've compressed the bottom, I'm just, I'm, you're going to be getting it wet a lot and I just try to keep um, water out of the middle so take out some water from the middle. Okay, so now is when you're going to pull the walls. So this is how I do it. I have this little claw or hook on the outside and I have my two fingers on the inside and then I connect. When they connect, they're not really connecting like exact, they're a little offset. So I'm going to give more pressure at the beginning and then slow, I'm kind of pulling almost in, inward toward the middle lightly and then letting off pressure as I get tall and then lightly moving my fingers away. If you move your hands away too quickly, you can make it go somewhere crazy. What are you making? It's a cylinder. Cool. So you could turn this lovely little cylinder into a mug or whatever. How could you make it a mug? Add a handle to it. Not on the wheel. The wheel is just the start. Okay, so now I've, I feel like you can pull it up several times. This was a real small, tiny bit of clay. It's pretty, I think it's good. So I'm going to use this, just hold on. I'm going to use this and I'm going to clean up the side. And then I'm going to take it here. You want to be careful when all this is coming up that you don't like press it into the clay because I've done that before too. Okay, did you guys have any questions about that? How did you get the clay to perk up higher again? By, um, I'll do it one more time. So this is when you're um, pulling your walls. So you have your claw on the outside and you have your two fingers on the inside and it's connected here. And you're gonna press harder on the bottom and then you're gonna pull slowly up. You guys see how I'm getting those rings as I go around? That is so cool. That's because I'm going slow. If you were to go really fast, see that? Yep. That's what happens if you go too fast. You can kind of fix it. Like one way to fix it is put two fingers um, side by side and like let it flatten out. And I'm gonna try to go slow and sort of fix it. I think that'll work. So make sure you get any water out of the bottom. You can clean up the top by putting two fingers here. I'm gonna slow it down in the sponge on the top. If mine is uneven on the top, if yours is uneven and you want to get that down, you can take your needle tool and you're going to slowly poke it in. Only the tip is sharp, so you want to make sure the tip gets all the way around before you push it in further. And then you can take that off. And, and then you can do your, rib, your rim again. Okay, so then when we take it off, You're gonna trim off whatever extra clay is down there, if it's like really fat on the bottom. And you're going to, if you if you guys can scrape your hands on the bucket and then use the towel, that would be good. So if your hands are somewhat dry, um, the, this wire tool, it is really sharp to clay, so be careful with it. But you're gonna wrap it around your fingers, um, don't wrap it around one finger, that will hurt. But if you wrap it around two or more fingers, you're good. Put thumbs in the middle and then pull it towards you. If that happens, it's okay, just don't pull up because my wire tool is still under there, so it would slice this in half. Um, but that's actually, that made it easy. So then we're gonna put them on a piece of board like that and put your initials on the bottom because they'll all start to look alike. Now that I'm done throwing, I've gotten all my tools out of the clay bucket. I'm ready to clean off this area. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the red bucket um, and dump it into the pink bucket. Oh, and I found an extra tool, so I'm gonna wipe that off. Just fill around in there and make sure you got everything before we don't wanna lose any tools in the buckets. So I'm gonna clean that off and then you're gonna take one of the larger sponges and wipe out that leftover residue. And I'm gonna put it right here where it's under this crack that a lot of times spills get. So you're gonna put pressure down. Um, you're gonna put pressure down on those two tabs and pull it out. It's easiest when you're standing. 
and then you're going to empty this out and just wipe it with a sponge. At that point, it's ready to go in the sink. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Okay, you can kind of rinse out this sponge in this dirty water if you have any big chunks. And then you're going to wipe this down. This pink one, you can put it back under this table. And then just use your large sponge and wipe some of these big splashes off. Same on the other side. I'm gonna put my stool upside down. I'm gonna put um, the, the foot or the pedal up here. Just wipe that down a bit and then you can just put that back under there. We'll use, we'll wash these um, every week, but just go ahead and if it's wet, you can hang it here or you can fold it up on here. So when you're putting these back on, um, the, this back one slides 